Kiki is asking, quick question. Black magic is said to have a very real impact on people, especially in South Asia. Um, and then saying Kala Jadu, I believe that's referring to the name of the practice. How do we help those people who are supposedly hexed? This is a very interesting question because it really speaks to how powerful the placebo effect is. And it can have literal physical experienced consequences on people's health. Um, in terms of how do we help those who are hexed? That's a very difficult question. I think if there is a way. So it's a nocebo, it's a nocebo, not the placebo. I think. What do you mean? Placebo is has positive effect. Nocebo, nocebo is has negative effect. Okay, that must be a new phrase because the placebo effect just refers to like having an intervention that isn't actually adding anything. It's just creating the belief based on um, context and environment that there is something that is being changed, like th that there is an intervention. It's positive. And then Posi yeah. The placebo is just positive. Okay. Okay, but go. Yeah. Um, so one thing that some people do for people who have been in cults, um, particularly like guru cults, where the guru um, is alleged to have these like superpowers, um, is that if you can demonstrate to them that they can have that same effect through other means, that will break down their belief in the power of that of what they experienced prior or what the, their previous experience was so for example this guy stephen hassan he was working to help um get people out of some form of a guru cult and um the victim that he was working with was talking about how they would experience this guru as levitating and literally shining with light and Dr. Hassan learned hypnotic technique. So he hypnotized this person to basically have the same experience. And then they basically said, like, look, I could reproduce that experience for you, like, right now. Do you still think that that person, but you don't, you don't think I'm a guru? Like, you don't think I didn't tell you beforehand, I didn't indoctrinate you to believe that I had these, but I just replicated that experience for you. Like, do you still think that, um, that this occurred from magical means? Um, so that has, I don't know how you would execute it in this, in these specific practices, if it's possible to um, have uh, a kind of control intervention like that, that's not the right term, but um, yeah, I don't know. And you also have to think about um, how could you execute something like that in a way that is not um, potentially psychologically damaging. That's very difficult. Do you have thoughts? No, that was pretty complete. I just hope that uh, Kiki didn't think these hexes are real. No, <laughs> I don't I think. think <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Well, hexed right, is yes. in parentheses. Okay. Yes, you're right. Not not parentheses quotation, but yes. Oh right. shoot! I'm not right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh yeah, and also security is saying technically Armin is correct, but Susanna is also right. Just uh, placebo using it and non-technical use. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Abhabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.